Hello, everyone. I'm Julian Quiroga. I'm Computer Vision Team Lead at Genius Sports. And today I will present a scene on TV, automatic basketball video production using Gaussian based actionness and game states recognition. Authors are Henry Carrillo, Edison Maldonado, John Ruiz, and Luis Zapata, all computer vision scientists at Genius Sports, and myself. We are really pleased to be participating in this sixth international workshop on computer vision in sport. This talk is divided in four parts. First, I will define the problem that we want to solve, and then I will describe our solution and its principal components. Later, I will present the results of the evaluation of some of its components and the system as a whole, and I will conclude with the main takeaways of this work. Our problem corresponds to automatic video production for basketball events. So given an input video from a central single camera that is able to observe the full basketball court, our aim is to produce an automated virtual camera that tracks the action of interest at every moment. The resulting video should be a smooth and um, pleasing broadcast of the game. This problem comes with some interesting challenges. Any basketball production system should be accurate enough in order to track the main action of the game, but also should be smooth and pleasing enough in order to provide a good experience for the spectator. Also, it has to be in real time to avoid any latency added to the production. And since the venues are so different, the point of view of the installation will provide difference in appearance and scale. Uh, also, given that we are working with a single view, dealing with occlusion and localization of players and the ball in the court is a main challenge. Finally, uh, the system should be general enough in order to provide a good production for any type of basketball, professional, or any other kind. Our system is composed by five main components. As you can see in the diagram, the input of the system is a full view of the basketball game, and the output is the produced video that is framing the main action. Uh, the components are core model, player and ball detection, game state recognition, action X block, and the video producer. So let's talk about them in detail. The first block of our system is the core model. The core modeling is done once, assuming that the camera is fixed, and the idea is to localize the court and also to estimate uh, the camera pose. So we manually or automatically detect uh, the location of some points in the image corresponding to uh, the corners of the field or the corners of the key areas. And we find a homography that maps uh, these points to the 3D uh, layout of the field, depending FIBA, NCAA, or NBA type of court. Using this homography, we estimate the camera pose and also a four meters height volume of the court. That's going to be really useful for computing some reference framings, for instance, a zoom out framing and a set of framings for the left and right uh, half courts. Also, we use this localization of the court to create a mask and a region of interest in order to filter detections. The second component of our system is in charge of detecting player and ball, which are the main ingredients of our solution. We use a Jolo V3-like architecture where we connect layer 11 to the combined feature map. We train our network first in crowd human dataset for detecting people, and then we use Google Sports for detecting player and ball. Finally, we use our Genus Sports dataset with three classes, ball, player, and referee. In order to exploit the information that we have of the court, we use the region of interest of the court and we resize the images to a given uh, size. And we perform a fine tuning procedure for all these three classes. At uh, the right, you can see ex some examples of the player detector. And you can see that it recognized the referee. And also, one example for the ball that is a 
hard problem because the scale and sometimes is occluded. And also using the core localization, we can localize the players in the court using the middle at the bottom of the detected boxes. To localize the main action of the game, we define an action as function to model the distribution of players in the court. Our assumption is that the main action of the game is more likely to happen where density of player is higher. We define actions as the two-dimensional function that models players as to the Gaussians in the court. We then project and smooth the actions function in the horizontal axis and computes its maximal. This value will define the center of the framing. In order to always include the ball, we use a rule of fifths and ensure that the ball, if detected, is included inside the framing. If not, the action value is corrected to contain the ball. The fourth component of our system is game states recognition. We define three states, half court, transition, and not play. These states will guide the final production. We use the player distribution to compute a two-dimensional player histogram that is discretized in 24 by 48 and fed to a neural network composed of convolutional layers and two final fully connected layers. At the bottom, you can see two examples of states, a transition and a half court. Last but not least, the video producer combines information from game states, actionists, and core model to perform the production. To ensure temporal consistency, a medium filtering is applied to the game states. Also, to avoid high frequency values, a one arrow filter is applied to the actionists. There are three different rules of production depending on the game state. During a transition, there is a free camera that is trying to be centered in the action value. It uses a proportional control, always obeying a maximal displacement limit. During a half court, we have an almost still camera that is tried to be localized in one of the half court defined frames. And finally, during a not playing state, we have a totally still camera that is placed in the zoom out framing. These are the components of the system. Let's see the system in action. We start with a fixed camera that is able to capture the full view of the game. The first step is localizing the court and estimate the camera pose. From this, the core model is computed, which is composed by core volume, the framings, and region of interest. For instance, this is the zoom out framing that exactly covers the court. The system detects player and ball inside the region of interest. Also, it is able to recognize the class referee which is not considered. Using the core model and detection, players are localized in the court plane, and the action as function is computed to localize the action. At the same time, the player histogram is used to infer the game state and finally perform the production following the production rules. Evaluation. We first evaluate our player and ball detectors. Our player detector achieves a 90% of average precision using a intersection over unit of 0.5. On the other hand, the ball detector only achieves 23% for the same IOU. Nevertheless, the lack of accuracy in ball detection do not prevent the system for delivering good quality out to production and can be improved using tracking. To measure the framing accuracy, we use the mean absolute error of the resulting production of the system with respect to the human annotated center of production. Using a 4K input video and a 720p produced video, we found from the histogram of the mean absolute error that the mean error is about 10% of the produced video width, ensuring that the main action is always contained inside the framing. 
Finally, we evaluate state recognition and quality. Regarding the state recognition, we achieve 91% of accuracy with transition state and 82% with half court state. Accuracy in transition state plays an important role to properly track fast breaks, while half court state improves the quality of the production during long possessions. We also assess the quality by asking 10 persons to assess from zero to five the quality of 84 auto-produced video clips. Question one, is the main action of the game visible clearly? Question two, is the ball properly enclosed in the production? In average, they rated over four hour to production. Conclusion. We have presented an automatic and real-time system able to produce a smooth and pleasant broadcast of basketball game using a single fixed camera. Due to its bottom-up design, 3D geometry awareness, and deep learning capabilities, the quality of our auto production can be constantly enriched and improved as more data is available. No need for expensive or additional hardware installation. Thanks a lot for your attention.